That's a lot of nuts! Did you guys know it's been almost a year since the last meme mail? The trunk of my car certainly knows because all these things were in it. You've been paying attention, you know that I moved, which means I don't have the same P.O. box anymore. The new P.O. box will be down here along the bottom of the screen, I'm sure. If you want to send stuff for future episodes of Meme Mail, send it there. But until then, let's get into this episode. This was postmarked October 2nd, 2021. So literally a year ago. I'm so sorry for making you wait. Hello, Cemento, big fan of your YouTube show. I found you from one of internet historian videos. Keep up the good work. I enclosed a couple of my stickers for my travel blog. If you send me a message with your t-shirt size, I'll send you one free of charge. Sincere sincerely yours at maybe a weekend. Yeah. So, you know, check out the travel blogs. I feel like I might've lost another one of the stickers you sent me, but thank you regardless, Garrett. Garrick. Garrick. Let's do a box. I should have started with a box. What kind of idiot does a fan mail unboxing and the first thing he unboxes is not a box? What's wrong with me? Oh shit, it's a hat. Or maybe a diaper. I haven't opened it completely yet. Hello Sumeto. First off, I absolutely love the content you put out for the world. It's the perfect mix of edge and humor that keeps me chugging in today's wacky world. Keep up the awesome work and know you are bettering people's lives everywhere. My name is Matthew Hahn and I work for a small hat company out of Washington State. We have hats available on Amazon as well as our own website. I saw in your merch store that you don't have any hats and I think it's a great opportunity for you. That's true! Because I do print on demand, if I did a hat that would be like $28 with me making $0. I don't know how anybody sells hats and makes money but my system does not really allow for it. Yo, thank you, Matthew. Matthew owns a hat company. You should call yourself Hathew. Let's do this Amazon package. It's kind of just staring me in the face. I'm excited to see what this is. Probably, oh my goodness. It's another, it's the Shining Gundam. Oh, finally, somebody gets all the hints that I haven't seen any of the Gundams except for the classic one. I, I did cover up everybody's names with duct tape, but some of these have been sitting in my car for so long that like the entire address is completely sun bleached. I know it looks like you can't see it because like it's overexposed, but like that's the tag. It's just, it's just completely gone. The ink is gone. Shining Gundam. This has to be the right Gundam that I watched as a kid. This is the one, right? The one that's the Shining Finger, that one, right? That's the one I watched. This is great. You know what? Live, live shelving. You're gonna go. Is that a good place for it? Does that look good? Up next, we have something that's definitely not a mug. I, what is, what am I hearing? A beverage container? Oh, it's a protein shaker. Oh, protein shaker for the Aquaman. Wait, Justice League? Is Aquaman DC? Of course he is, cause he, cause no, I have no mnemonic device to remember this. Is Aquaman from DC? Oh, you can't see him because the box is in the way, but when that when this one gets unboxed, you're gonna see that Aquaman's on the shelf. All right, up next we have something that is definitely not a mug. This is, this is what I thought the last package was. While holding it, I could tell it was a mug. And it's not a mug. I'm bad at guessing things. What is this? Super Bump Energy. Wait, what? Colombian mango flavor. Every one of these descriptions sounds like a drug. What is this? You see those serving sizes? It says one scoop is fine. One heap scoop is not okay. And then it says two scoops is suicide. What, how, this can kill me? I'm not taking this. Do not take if you were under the age of 18, pregnant, nursing, or those that are sensitive to, I can't even read the rest of the warnings because it's covered by a sticker. I'm a little bit worried. I mean, I'm sure it's like G Fuel. Does G Fuel have those kind of warnings on it? If you take two heaping spoonfuls of G Fuel, is it suicide? All right, what's this big bouncy boy? I gotta be careful opening this one, make sure I don't accidentally cut it. There's a note in a nice container. Don't. Didn't want to pay for overseas shipping, so it's just this for now. I ordered this when we got the meme mail five preview, so I reckon it's about 2025 when you read this. You're not far off, bro. You're not far off. I did not do a good job with doing these every month like I thought. Again, P.O. box link below. Send me stuff. Okay, I'm really glad I'm the one editing this because that took an embarrassing amount of time to get a pillow into a pillowcase, but here we go. You guys ready? Three, two, one. It's literally me. It's 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 me from the last me mail. As a as a it's 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 me. Unironically, pretty that's pretty poggers. That's a pretty cool gift. I don't I hope there isn't another one of these that's like a picture of me holding it. 
because that joke's gonna get old after like 10 or 15 episodes. I don't know if that's gonna be worth it. And we have... Is that a fucking knife? Oh, wait a second. Wait, I remember this. I think somebody asked me if I were to get a knife in the mail, what kind of knife would I want? And I said one straight through my throat. And I don't know what they did. Your balls are looking mighty heavy, King. This knife has exactly one vending machine per person. You are... Among my favorite content creators, I hope you continue to improve your content to greater and greater heights. Henry MTZ, technically Professor Knife Maker. P.S. If you want to, shout out my Discord, Henry MTZ number 2159. I'm open to customer knife commissions. P.P.S. My handwriting sucks. P.P.P.S. I'm not great at engraving. That's fine. There's some leathermanship going on. Let's take a look at the... Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the engraving super well. I'll try to get the camera to focus, but there is, there's a vending machine on this side. And then on the other side, there's like, what is that? Is that a dick and balls? Is that, is that boobs? What the fuck is that? I completely forgot. I put out a thing on Twitter asking people to ask me any questions they might want me to do while unboxing. And now I've unboxed half of everything. If you were on an episode of Chubby Emu, what would be the symptoms and what would be the reason for it? I would say the story, if I were to be featured in a Chubby Emu video, would have to be something like, um, a gamer awakens one day with a 14 inch penis. He's suddenly overwhelmed by the amount of sex that he's having from every goth milf in the vicinity. And, and the result would be um, that he that he finally got plat in League of Legends. Will you ever consider bringing back Spodcast with possibly a more compatible host scheduling work niche wise? Um, it wouldn't be an unboxing video if I didn't address the Spodcast in one way or another. Basically, very scary because like I could very easily do a Spodcast every week of me just talking about stuff, interjecting that in between me averaging like three real videos a month. I worry it's gonna make a pattern of like this video's worth watching and then the next one's not worth watching and then this one's worth watching for a lot of people. So I'm still kind of workshopping that. Once I have a good answer to that and I learn how to how to do podcasts without them being uh, annoying and distracting, the way, like even these videos aren't interesting to everybody who wants to see meme content, right? But I also got to do PO box videos. So it's, I don't know, it's something I got to figure out. Uh, what's your favorite video that you made in the past year? And in general, I'd say I like doing the meme videos, the ones that are, you know, whatever I end up calling it, whatever sort of show it is, the meme videos where I'm sort of explaining a topic and I work in my own jokes. I feel like though that's a very nice series for me. I feel like it's very late night talk shows host where it's like, hey, do you guys hear about this? Do you guys hear about that? Like the Jay Leno thing where I'm working in my own jokes and I'm also sort of explaining stuff that maybe you don't completely understand if you don't spend all day online the way that I do. The, the videos obviously that I'm the most proud of are ones like, meme food and the Anthony Fantano parody and the, the videos that are, you know, like a topic, like the videos that don't feel like I'm doing it because there's something that's trending on Twitter or I, ha I gotta do a video on this because everybody's looking it up and it's gonna get all these views. I, I feel most proud about videos that are maybe on an older meme or maybe on a lesser known meme or maybe a parody of something that's that gets all of its views just based on me having a good idea and executing it well. That's when I feel like I've done a good job as a YouTuber. So, so fuck, Mary kill. Internet historian, ordinary things, many kudos. I would definitely fuck many kudos. I would kill many kudos right after having sex with him. And then I would marry many kudos's dead body after killing him. I guess internet historian and ordinary things could like watch. All right, let's use my fancy new knifey boy and hopefully not cut my dick off. All right, this this didn't really require a knife. It's not a bad knife. It's just, I, I'm worried about cutting my dick off. There's a fragrance thing in here. Oh, this is definitely from China. All right, you guys will see it as I see it. Boom. What is it? What, oh my God, it's adorable, wait. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. And I think it's bigger than my current mouse pad. Yo, I'm going to use this. What the fuck? That's so cute. People are going to think I'm a bottom and, and that's okay if it means I get to use this mouse pad. Next meme. Let's do... Okay, Henry, I don't... I'm, I'm sure you didn't fully sharpen it on purpose because you knew I would accidentally cut my dick off. Thank you. I'm going to go back to the box opener. To Sumetto, if you get this package, then it means I managed to get over my social anxiety and make it to the post office. I hope it arrives in one piece. Oh, what the fuck? 
That's so clean. Angie, thank you so much. Look, it's a little... It's a little no face in front of a fucking... Oh, I wish the camera wasn't washing it out. It's a little no face in front of a vending machine and it's got sodas and it's got a Millennium Puzzle in it. Where's the sign? I'll put you right here. There you go. Ah, oh, it's so fucking cute. It's like getting a boxed DVD set. Pocky, these are my favorite flavors and I hope you like them too. They aren't expired, at least I hope they aren't. I got these a year ago, so we'll, we'll see. I don't know how long it'll take for you to receive open. <laughs> it'll take a year. Choco Mint, I've never even seen those before. Chocolate, these are classic. I, I think I have these in my pantry, actually. Matcha, one of my favorites, and one of the better Kit Kat flavors. Chocolate Coconut, also never seen these before. And this one just says Chocolate Tasty. But I think it's got like, I think that's butterscotch on it. Little Gundam figure, something small for your desk. Oh, you don't need to send small stuff from my desk anymore. I have a whole fucking shelf. Look at, look at, look right at, right, right next to the big Gundam, right there. Which one is this? There, you go next to the big one. Funko Pop, oh my God, wait. Funko Pop, I sent this Funko Pop from my personal collection. I collect a lot of them, but because I'm a huge nerd, not sure if you already have any besides Vaporeon. But if you don't like it, you can either take it out of the box or sell it. Nah, this is, look, I got all this shelf space specifically for this. Don't, don't apologize for not having space. I just gotta, he's, see, this, this is my, this is my Logitech webcam. This, this is the camera I use for most things. This, this is my Logitech, right up there, look. Skeletor on Panthor, which, that sounds like a joke, but it's, yeah, we got the, we got those. And then there's the, there's the pillow from earlier. It's my feet. Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I wasn't sure if you were more of a Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh card collector. What? Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Maximum gold Yu-Gi-Oh card? I don't want to open this. I'll put, I'll put it next to the Pac-Man. I know it looks like it's covering up the Gundam, but that's this is one of the Gundams I'm going to end up like actually building at some point. So this that's, that's a good place for it, trust me. Death Note? You're not allowed to write my name in it? Is this a real Death Note? Is this... I'm glad you. I'm glad you told me not to write your name in it, cause that is goddamn. You know, ex that's exactly what I would have done. Jar, somebody's been watching the old episodes, huh? Let's grab Vaporeon. Look at that. That's too good. That's too good. It's just big enough that when I'm on camera, people are gonna be like, "Wait, is that a fucking Vaporeon in a jar?" Oh, it's so good. Angie, thank you so much. I wish you luck on your comic. Please give me some updates. Let me see it when it's ready to be shown. Ah, uh, that's a. Ah, uh, that's those. Are, such on-brand gifts, Angie. Such on-brand gifts. Thank you so much. Next, meme. I love your content. Keep up the good work. I hope you like what's inside the package as it was back ordered for eight months. I figure this goes well with your aesthetic. Cheers, at Schoolyard Manga. Eight months? Yo! Holy fuck! Fucking Evangelion vinyl? Nah, you're crazy for this one. What the fuck? Cruel Angels thesis, Fly Me to the Moon, Come Susur Todd, Fly Me to the Moon 2020, Come Sweet Death Second Impact, bruh. Oh, that's, that's, I don't know what the fuck to say. Eight months back ordered? You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. I have seen this artwork in so many stores. I've seen this vinyl thing on like websites that sell like hella expensive figurines. I don't know what you paid for this. I don't think I want to know what you paid for this because I'm going to feel super bad. That's too crazy. I did not think I would ever be the type of person to own actual Evangelion stuff. I know that like it's a popular anime. It's not really that big of a personality trait or whatever. But stuff like that, like I know some of the original versions of Evangelion, like the manga, the VHS tapes, any of the gun PLA kits that have an Evangelion on them are expensive as dick. I'm a little bit worried about what this one is, but you know, grand finale, hopefully we finish strong. If we don't, I'm not Superman. I can't see inside of the boxes. So I don't, if you don't show this on the vid, your mom gay. You didn't really give me much warning there, buddy. Okay. It's a rubber fist. She's the kinkiest girl in porn, and when she makes a fish, she knows just where it's going. Get as nasty as you want to be with Belladonna's bitch fist. 
An exact replica cast from the superstar herself. Wow. I don't know who that is. I don't watch butch lesbian porn, but open up a P.O. box, Samet. It'll be great. You totally won't get stuff that is too risque to even put on your shelf, and therefore you're going to have to hide it. And then after hiding it, if anybody finds it, it's going to be really difficult to explain that you got it as a gift, because why were you hiding it? Listen, I know for a fact that sex toys aren't cheap. So, like, I, I'm pretty sure this... The doll they didn't want you to know about. Extraterrestrial twat and ass. Supple suction cup fingers. Two belly buttons. I didn't even notice that. Two belly buttons. Three firm breasts. Alien asshole ears. They put the asshole. Well, I can't show this one. He's ready to pop. Pregnant fantasies love doll. It's a, it's a, she's got a bun in the oven and she's ready for another. Give this plump pleasure mama what she wants. Your cock deep inside each of her throbbing love holes. I don't know what you guys wanted, but this is, this is what this show's turned into. And after the, after the home run with the, with the Evangelion and the, and the, I mean, it's been a year since we did the last one of these. That's mostly been due to distractions. I got most of this stuff like eight months ago, nine months ago. So it's not, it's not like an issue of people aren't sending enough stuff. Uh, I just, I just gotta, you know, it takes a while. Thank you. It says free alien lube on the, on the bottom of the alien sex doll, by the way. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this. This has been, this has been a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the Halloween Patreon cards. Uh, thank you so much for supporting my content, my Patreon. Um... Twitch streams will come back at some point. Spodcast will come back at some point. How does... How does... Spies? Is that... Spies? Uh, it smells like oil.